The Earth only has one moon. Our moon arrived after the sun and planets in our solar system. There are several theories of how the moon formed, but only one is most supported by scientists. The giant impact hypothesis is the leading theory of how the moon formed. It suggests that a large body collided with the early developing Earth to create the moon. This resulted in vaporized chunks of the Earth's young crust launching into space. Gravity bound the material together to create the moon, the largest in the solar system relative to its host planet. This formation led to the moon to be made up of predominantly lighter elements that are unlike the dense core of the Earth. The moon's gravitational pull stabilizes the Earth's wobble on its axis, providing a stable climate. Our moon orbits around Earth in an elliptical path. At perigee, the moon is at its closest, and at apogee, the moon is at its farthest from the Earth, averaging around 238,855 miles from our planet. The moon rotates on its axis in about the same amount of time it takes to revolve around Earth in 27 days and 8 hours, or a sidereal month. So one side of the moon is always facing Earth. A lunar month is the time it takes for the moon to complete a lunar cycle, about 29 days and 13 hours. The different views of the moon that we see throughout a lunar month are called the phases of the moon. The eight different moon phases relate to the amount of sunlight being reflected off the moon and the position of the moon during its orbit around the Earth. Our moon is a fascinating place, but there have only been 12 astronauts, all men, from 1969 to 1972 that have been on the surface of the moon. NASA is committed to landing the first woman and next man on the moon by 2024 through the Artemis Lunar Exploration Program. This may be one small step to take a giant leap to send astronauts to Mars. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Mr. Weather's World on YouTube for new videos every Mr. Weather Wednesday.